Record. Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouched. Last time we did the B-side for Steam Gardens, this time we're going to do the entirety of Nimbus Arena because it's so small. So we will be opening the Moon Rock and doing all the B-side moons in Nimbus Arena, as well as the A-side moons. Just in all in one video, just because it's such a small kingdom. Uh, and I'll probably put some music on from the music list because it doesn't actually have any, which is a bit weird. I suppose you only visit it for a boss battle normally, and the boss battle has boss battle music, so it kind of makes sense, but still. Um, but yeah, Nimbus Arena, here it is. It's very, very small. Uh, that's the entire kingdom. We're looking at it there. So we've just got the big platform we did the boss battle on, a few small platforms around it. Um, and that's about it. That's the whole kingdom. It's very small. It is possible to make this jump, like, from over here to the other side without using these cloud platforms. Uh, but it's pretty tricky. I think you need, like, a cappy roll jump or something to make it over there. Uh, so we have... So first up, Peach is here, as usual, with Tiara, being adorable. And we can talk to them. And they're freaking cute. And they're going to give us a power moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. And the moons here are yellow, as you can see. Uh, she's going to go to the Lost Kingdom next, that's what she's talking about. Forgotten Isle. Uh, first up, we're going to go over here and hit that moon rock. I think just using backflips here would probably be the best way. Yeah, that'll work fine. These problems are much bigger than the ones in... um. Fossil Falls, for some reason. So yeah, we're just going to hit this moon rock to open it up. Bam! Even once we've done that, there aren't that many moons here. Uh, as you can see. It's a very small number of moons overall. Oh, nine. I thought it was five, but no, it's nine. There's nine moons here. I was probably thinking of, um, Crumbledon. Yeah, Crumbledon actually has ten moons, but it has five before you open the moon rock. So... Here, this is basically the same challenge that we did already in Fossil Falls, so I'm going to do it in the same way. And fail. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, we'll respawn at the, at the keyhole. I think we might be able to just long jump our way over there rather than using the platforms, but to get back, we're probably going to need to use the platforms because we're a bit lower now. Yeah, so you hit the keyhole, the moon comes out, there we go. Uh, let's see, maybe we can make that? I might give it a try. Actually, yeah, that's really, really easy. You don't need to use those platforms at all. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Like, that wasn't even a tight jump, that was just easy. Whereas this one, that is much harder to do, as you can see. <laughs> uh, I was partly demonstrating that, partly just wanted to see if it was possible. Um, which it turns out it's not. Uh, there's no um, free running or anything like that in this kingdom because it's so tiny. Uh, there is one sort of challengey points thing, which is picture match. I'm not a big fan of picture match. There's only two of it in the game, so it's okay, but it's cute. Uh, we're going to do the sub-area first, because I think it's the most interesting part of the kingdom. Maybe that's the reason to do it last. <laughs> uh, okay, so this pipe leads to the picture match we were talking about. Also, Cappy is, is cute. So what you basically have to do, there's this Goomba here. I'm just going to take a little screenshot of that. Uh, I'm going to use my capture card over here to do that, instead of using the switch capturing, because... Then I can look at them both at once, which makes it a little bit easier than normal. I'm not a fan of picture match, so I'm going to cheat a little bit. <laughs> Basically what you do is you talk to this toad over here. Uh, and you can get a power moon, blah 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 blah. Basically what happens is... The face will be torn apart into little bits. There we go. We have to capture those pieces. And then put them in the right spots. Uh, we can just move around using a little joystick like this and the buttons. 
And yeah, we just have to match up to where things originally were. Uh, it's not that tricky or precise, really. It just it just annoys me. Uh, get nigh. Uh, you can see that there's basically two full sets of pieces here. That's because both the picture matches use the same set of pieces. This one uses a picture of a Goomba, the other one uses a picture of Mario. So you have to be careful not to use the Mario pieces in this one, or the Goomba pieces in the other one. But it's pretty easy. Goombas have these little uh, little black eyes. Mario has blue eyes. Uh, Goombas have angrier eyebrows. No, no, stay, stay. Uh, Mario has a nose. Goombas don't, etc. It's fairly straightforward. Uh, this goes over here. It's fairly lenient about this positioning, so it's not too tricky. It is a bit harder in the, um, the Moonrock version. Actually unlocks a harder version of this, like, you, where you need to get a higher score, and they've also made it a bit trickier, so, that bugs me. Ba -ba -ba -da. Uh, about there. Once you put things into place, you just come over here, you talk to the Toad, you say, yes, I'm done. And the Toad will show you how you did. That's pretty good. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! This is basically unaffected by the fact that we're crouching because it's based around capturing stuff. Um, and there's no time limit, so the fact that we have to travel around a bit more trickily doesn't really affect much either. Uh, in this one, you need a higher score and the outline of the Goomba is completely empty like this. Which makes it trickier than the original version. Uh, but not by much, honestly. I am having trouble capturing the right piece. There we go. Uh, okay, just do the same thing again as you did previously. I'm not a big fan of these moons. Um, unlike, say, the racing moons, which have a similar sort of deal. Uh, in those ones, you actually see some advanced strats by keeping an eye on the Gold Cooper, for example, which I think is good. And if your strat's good enough, you basically own them, whereas here, it's just... It's just, like, a specific mechanic to this rather than something you can do elsewhere in the game, which is, you know, movement. Um, and yeah, I just don't like it nearly as much. I'm also not a big fan of trace walking for similar reasons, it's just, you know, you're not super good at walking around in this game. You are super good at moving very fast in various ways. Um, it's just like, the fact that you have such good movement opportunities contributes well to a speed sort of thing, but not so much to just trying to walk in a straight line or in a circle or whatever. Uh, eyebrow there, and the other eyebrow. So yeah, you can see I'm having a bit more trouble capturing these. It's hard to tell how I, how high up I am because of the perspective that's forced in this area. Uh, let's put this over this side. There we go. I think that's I think that's about right. That's all the pieces anyway. Hopefully that's good enough. I don't really like doing this bit more than once. Yes. Okay. Okay, so that's done. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, that's four out of nine. Uh, we're gonna go do... So there's a couple of moons out here that are just sort of floating out in the overworld. Uh, you can see there's one over this direction. Uh, which is actually above us. It's uh, kind of hard to get the angle right, but if we move back a bit, we should be able to see. There it is. What you have to do is basically get on that platform and then do these hat hopping thingies. It's kind of annoying. Uh, but yeah, you ground pound on this, which is why it has a ground poundy looking symbol. And that'll launch you up into the sky, and then you can just start doing this thing with these platforms. Uh, it's kind of tricky. Oh my goodness, that might be a bit of a thing. So we might look at that one in a sec. Uh, there's also a moon over... Over on uh, this platform over here, which is hilariously easy to get. Just if you stand here, you can feel that there's a rumble in the controller. Ground pound this spot, you get a move. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! 
digging in the cloud. <laughs> uh, over here, there's one that I'm a little worried about. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, you respawn from the last like entrance you went through, so we show up over here this time. Uh, this one I'm a bit worried about because it's based on collecting notes, and based on collecting notes that are off the edge using Cappy, which is kind of tricky without limitations, as you might expect. So you hit this. As you can see, there's a bunch of notes off the edge, which you have to get. Oh my goodness, I'm I'm concerned about this one. Um, I might go to the sub area first and come back to that because that's really really going to be a thing. Uh, I might actually have another shot at this one first though. Uh, we should be able to long jump all the way over there, right? Yeah, should be able to. Yeah, you can completely skip those three hats. Uh, but over here, you're going to need to use some of the hats at least. So yeah, this strat is basically to backflip and then throw at the hat you're landing on. It's kind of scary, but it's not that hard, honestly. Um, because you can, in fact, land on hats this way without too much trouble. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, we're at six moons out of nine. There are two in the sub area, and there's that one with the notes. I think I'll do the sub area first. Uh, if I recall correctly, this one's a 2D sub area, but I don't think we'll have any trouble entering it because the pipe points down, if I recall correctly. It does, yeah. So, what you have to do, there's 2D moon shards in here, and you have to get all five of them. There's one on each side of the cube. Uh, the astute here may notice that there are, a cube has six sides, there is a moon hidden on the secret sixth side. So, we're we getting that too. Uh, but yeah, so just bounce on this Goomba, there we go. That one's easy. Uh, we're now facing the wrong way. I don't know how doable this is going to be without Cappy's help. Uh, we'll see if we need her help later. Well, I mean, we'll see if, if we need her help if I can't do this, basically. Uh, moon shards stay collected, but here it doesn't really matter that much because of the way, uh, what we want to do here, if we can, oops. Yeah, what you're supposed to do is go up there, get the Cooper and bring it down, but we didn't quite manage to. Oops. 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 Yeah, you can get the Cooper to kill all the Spawnies and then you don't have to worry about them, basically. Oops. Go back in the sub area, please. There we go. But yeah, this whole sub area, it takes place... As you can see, the moon stars shards stay collected even though I left the room. I think they just stay like that forever. Uh, this might be easier with a life up heart, so I can tank a bit more damage. Uh, if it proves too tricky, I will go grab my amiibo and do it that way, but... Hopefully I won't need to. Uh, so yeah, the part here, what you're supposed to do is get up to that turtle that we can see above the spinies. And just bop him and go that way. And that'll take out all of these spinies and make it much easier to get down there. Uh, there is still a moving turtle to worry about, but we can just jump over it like that without too much trouble. Uh, here we have... There's a moon shard down there, we can see. Uh, so I'll be grabbing that. Uh, as you can see, there's a pipe up there. We want to get into that pipe. I don't know if we can reach it with our limitations. We may need to use true player mode for that. Uh, just looking at how high up that is, that's going to be tricky. Uh, actually, I think there might be an invisible block that you can use to get it more easily. Uh, I just remembered, actually. Yeah, there's a block. Okay, so that's not going to be hard. Uh, yeah, because you can just jump onto these blocks and get up that way. I thought you had to open the platform, but you don't have to, so it should be fine. There we go. Uh, I'm facing the wrong way, so I can't actually go into this pipe. There. 
So one way to turn around in this mode, if you slide off an edge, you go in for a regular jump instead of a crouch jump, which allows you to... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, is this going to be a problem? Is this going to be a thing for me? Oh my goodness. Um. Oh no! Oh no! Please don't. Okay. Oh, I was really scared for a second there. God. Okay. Uh. Okay, yeah, this one, it's a little tricky to get past the fuzzies, but... Oh my god. That kills you instantly? That's not good. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. This is all completely doable. It's just hard. I think the timing is a bit easier when it's 2D pipe to 2D pipe. For, um, jumping off the pipe. So that's good. still, you know, a problem. There is still some tricky timing involved, but it's a bit easier than some of the others. Uh, I think here I probably still want to get the Koopa, just to get these guys out of the way. Or I can just mess it up. That's fine. Yeah, um... Okay, so, yeah, don't, don't, don't touch the, the lava, because that, it's, it's, it's hot. And you will you will die from lava. Um, I'm facing the wrong way for this pipe, so I actually need to turn around. Uh, that's that's a problem you have with side pipes. Uh, you can only go into them if you're facing the right way. Okay, yeah, the timing is very very easy to do that. Uh, so nothing to worry about there. Uh, that might be something to worry about. I'm gonna grab my amiibo or just die again because of the skid. I'm gonna go grab my amiibo, uh, BRB. Okay, so, Amiibo acquired, we're just gonna basically probably damage boost this whole thing because the Amiibo gives you unlimited health, essentially. <laughs> uh, we won't use it just yet, we'll wait till we get to somewhere a bit trickier. Since this first part is easy enough, so just, just do. The part with the bullets isn't hard either. There we go. I wonder if these bullets respect pr proximity. Um, what I mean is the bullets in regular, like 2D Mario's, only fire if you're a little bit away from the bullet blaster. If you're too close, they just won't shoot at all. Yeah, I had a feeling I would take a hit there, so... <sighs> Okie doke. Oh my goodness. So yeah, you can just scan it again. You just get it in the right position. I'm not really sure where the Amiibo touch point is on a Pro Controller, which is a bit of a problem. <laughs> okay, uh, it is. Thanks. Okay, yeah, it's um, it's where the logo is, basically, in the middle of the... Whoa! Um, for some reason that error message interrupted my crouching. Hang on. I don't know why I thought it wasn't an Amiibo, because it clearly was. <sighs> okay, there we go. Okay, so this pipe here, which we can enter with some careful timing as we jump out. Oh no! That wasn't it. Thankfully, if you hold left to the right as you come out, you will face the right way, which makes that bit a bit easier. Uh, okay, so the fuzzies. Holy fuzzy. Uh, okay. There we go. Uh... Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! See, totally doable. Uh, so yeah, that's the secret moon on the sixth face of the cube. Hence the name, the sixth face. <laughs> um, we just pop out here. There we go. Um, we may... we may... 
Okay, yeah, this one, there's actually a hammer bro here, which is a bit tricky to deal with. Uh, it's the first hammer bro we've had to face in the game so far, so... Um, basically, it's just, they just, they just like SMB1 hammer bros, you just want to get underneath if you can, and bonk him that way, but... I'm having some trouble managing to do that. Uh, there we go. And that's all five moon shards. And the moon shows up up there. For some reason the moon isn't a 2D moon, even though this entire sub-area is based around 2D stuff. Who knows. Uh, this pipe is vertical, but we want to go through it, so we're all good. <laughs> uh, that one also is, but we'll jump off it straight away, so not a problem. ba da ba da ba da ba Yeah! Okay, that's eight moons. Uh, the last one is probably the hardest, so hopefully we'll be able to do this without too much consternation. Uh, we were already looking at it over here. So yeah, just, just to recap, what we want to do is get over onto that platform, ground pound it to go up so we can hit that note, then we have to get the other music notes that pop up. Oh, that one's not a note actually, that's a treble clef. Uh, we want to get the treble clef, and then we want to get all the notes that show up around the sides, which basically we have to do by throwing Cappy at them, which is hard to do because we are crouching. Uh, you have to ground pound it oop, again in order to uh, make it go back up, as you can see. You don't have a lot of time to work with either. Oh, so close! That was really, really close. Oh gosh. I think I can do this. Wow. <laughs> I kind of thought this one would be impossible when I... Oh my gosh. Oh no! No! <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I don't need a life up heart here anyway, so I won't, I won't scan Peach again. Which means we don't have to worry about her not being an amiibo for some reason. I have no idea what happened there. That was really weird. Okay, let's try this again. That. <laughs> oh gosh, oh gosh. I think this is doable. I think this is, this moon is definitely possible. It's just it's just hard. Like a lot of moons in this run. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Couldn't even get on the platform. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. That was that was really terrible. Okay, uh, let's make our way over there again. Gosh. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! And that is the entire Cloud Kingdom done. And I didn't even fall when I thought I would. <laughs> okay, cool. So, this entire kingdom can be done while permanently crouching. Uh, you wouldn't actually need the damage boost through those um, fuzzies and stuff either, so it can be done without using an amiibo. But I didn't. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm just gonna cash in these moons. I guess I'll just, I guess I'll just call this video just... I don't know, I don't know, I won't, I won't put B-side in the title, I guess, because it's B-side but also A-side. Just did the whole kingdom in one video, because it's really tiny. Uh, okay. I have no idea how I survived that. I think I just came up through the platform when it spawned. Anyway, um... 
if you look here, you can actually see uh, there's some little dots on the Odyssey. You can see there's one lit up there. Uh, the reason for that is that the Cas... Uh, no, I'm not sure. Hang on. The reason for that is that this kingdom is the first one we actually have the full star, the full collection of moons in at this point. As you get a hundred like maximum moons in every kingdom, it will light up one of the little dots around the Odyssey like that for each one. Um, anyway, next time we will be heading off to the Lost Kingdom, Forgotten Isle. Uh, as you might remember, here we had to just get 10 moons. We didn't actually have to do any story. I mean, you never do any story, but there is no story in the Lost, in um, Forgotten Isle. There's just minor moons to collect, and we got 10 of them. Uh, there are a bunch more to get, so next time around we will be getting a bunch more. Uh, we can see there's one in a cage right there that we'll be grabbing pretty soon. Uh, there we go. Also, there is a moon rock here, so we'll have a B-side to this kingdom, which is exciting. Uh, there's also some racing to do. The racing is pretty fun. Um, basically, you just have to climb the whole kingdom and get to the store at the top. Starting basically over there where Uncle Amiibo is. We're a little bit, a little bit closer to the rest of the kingdom, actually. Uh, yeah, you basically... <laughs> it's the side of a tree. Uh, you stand, basically start here where these two poles are. Um, it's fun. It's fun. There's some butterflies here. Does that mean I can ground pound this spot and make something happen? Nope. Alright, anyway, next time, yeah, we'll be doing this kingdom. Uh, we won't do it all in one video, probably. Uh, let me see. I'll get probably get the other 15 A-side moons, and then we'll do B-side in a separate video. Um... Yeah, that'll be good. We'll do A side then B side, separate videos, just just like we normally do, because there's a decent amount of moons here. There's also a bunch of purple coins. We mostly missed them on our previous visit, uh, but we can and will get all of them and get the associated costume as well. So that's something to look forward to. Uh, also, there is the moon. <laughs> so there it is. Yep. Um. Anyway, yeah. So Cloud Kingdom. Is the first one we actually have the little star for because we don't have to go back for anything. The Water Kingdom we have the path to do, the Lake Kingdom we have the path to do, the Sand Kingdom uh, we have a path to do and a few other things. Uh, Sand Kingdom, uh, actually we won't get that one completed because the other moon up here, that's impossible. We can't do that one. Uh, but we will get 80, 88 out of 89. Cascade Kingdom is very possible, and we will get the last two moons there. Cap Kingdom is very possible, we will be getting the last moon there. Uh, lost Kingdom, we should be completing 100% this time. There's no secret path to Lost Kingdom, so we should be able to get everything while we're here. There might be a hint art, though, in which case we'll have to do that separately. Um, but anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Uh, for now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, Nimbus Arena antics, and me falling off the Nimbus Arena more times than you would expect. <laughs> oh gosh. Thanks for watching.